Welcome to Austria! Country number 20... Seven. Seven, yeah. <laughs> 28, no, not 27. All right, country number 27! 27! Woo! Woo! We actually did drive through um, Slovenia last night. So we could have counted that as 27, but we, I didn't even wake up to like even look outside. Oh, we'll count that another time, uh, but for now, Let's explore Vienna. It got really cold on the bus last night. Outside, I saw that it was two degrees Celsius. Right now it's actually 45, but it's windy. I'm wearing all layers. I'm wearing both my sweaters and both my jackets. <laughs> Find all different spellings for the European cities. So this is Wien, not Vienna. It's funny because we have the Ticket to Ride game, and it has like all the like Roma and Vienna, and we thought, oh, that just must be using like old English. No, it's using the modern names that those cities call themselves. It's so nice today to be bag free after carrying our bags all day yesterday and after two nights of sleeping on the bus we are still looking forward to getting into a hotel tonight to get some sleep we haven't booked it yet because we're not sure what city we're gonna end up in yet this is the Rothfuss or Rothfuss I'm not sure how you say it but it's an old municipal building that was built with some 30 million bricks now it's used to house events balls and Markets. Vienna waits for you. Here comes the sun. Da 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 da. Here comes the sun. Yay! Warming everything up. Love the sun. We had like every corner you turned, there was like a new fancy building. Parliament building. So this is actually the front of the Parliament building. So we were on the back side, which is also impressive. And then this is just massive. Guys, this is a running tour guide right here in the orange. He's giving a tour history of Parliament as they're running. <laughs> it's great, get your exercise and get a tour in. <laughs> largest anthropological museum in Austria. This is the National Library. And then over here's another museum. So this is a statue of Maria Theresa, and she is the mother of Marie Antoinette. She had 16 kids. Ed sent one of her people to spy on Marie Antoinette and her husband Louis, and that guy wrote such a bad report about Louis. So because Louis had a nosy mother-in-law, he has gone down in history as an incompetent leader. It's a music symbol because that's Mozart. The Vienna Opera House. Wait, who is Franz Joseph? This is the second statue of him. Look at this big bunny. Another bunny that is green. Should we go see if the lesson in this hotel? Yeah. So Peter, why do we get this? So I believe I read about this in National Geographic. So somewhere when we were researching places to go, this is one of the top things you had to do in Vienna. So here we are. And what is it? It's a chocolate torte cake. Tort. Torte. I'm just tort. Frosting company. Yeah? Yeah. It reminds me of my mom's Texas sheet cake. So we were definitely some of the younger demographic in there. And it was funny because we went to pay. Um, he's like, you're paying with credit card? So it's like, welcome back to Germany, you know? German influence <laughs> here. Thank you. And sorry, Mozart Cafe, but my mom's Texas sheet cake is actually better. Uh, it's more moist. Um, she would love to have y'all over, but the house isn't that big. So 
uh, you can go onto allrecipes.com and I think that's what he uses. So yeah, in Germany and in Austria, expect to be laughed at, like seriously laughed at by the waitress, by, by the waiter, by the person serving you when you're ordering less than 10 euros of something and you're wanting to use a card. Um, but still do it. But still do it. Because Get your they, points. Yeah. We're like, well, yeah, we yeah, we actually do have cash we could pay, but like we want to use our credit card to get points and then we pay off the credit card and then we can fly places for free. So every little bit on that card helps. Why are you so excited? Look at this. I've always wanted to come to Vienna. I always think of Vienna as just a magical, just cool place with lots of really neat looking buildings. That's what it is. Building has a building. Right, Lisa? She's having fun. Lots of fun. I'm still a little building out. Building out? Out of... I don't know how you would say that. What's wrong with your finger? Apparently my hand's not warm enough for my phone to recognize it. Time to get warmed up. Wow, those are some fancy, fancy cakes. Wait a second, does that look familiar or what? Yes! <laughs> No idea what was happening, but five of them were all like pressing their phone for like over two minutes. Maybe playing Pokemon Go or something and having to fight? I don't know, because I never played that. Look at this Nespresso shop. We have some limited editions that we're gonna try. So I really like the snowball, but the orange one it was so good. If you made like a cappuccino with it, like with like milk, it almost it tastes like an orange sickle with the coffee. It's really good. St. Stevens. Waffle sandwich with hummus for three fifty. Want to do that? Looks good. Mm -hmm. Danke. Thank I think this is both of our first full awful sandwich. I've always like heard of it, and they mention it in extreme days, and so therefore I've always wanted a full awful, and so now we got them in a sandwich. The first bite. Are you in the first bite? How is it? Yeah. Good for 350, cheaper than our cheaper than our cake. <laughs> Half the price of our cake pretty much. <laughs> oh my goodness, such a good sandwich. And look, this dude, this statue has a golden bunny. We have got to figure out what in the world is up with Vienna and bunnies. So here is Austria's World War II Memorial. Of like a mini Versailles with like the pretty gardens and things like that. The people who just think and talk about art, and there are people who just think and talk about houses. That's super duper strange. was the five hour tour of Vienna. On to the next city. This is crazy. Find, out find what? Bus seats out there, it's 901. It's cheap as ever. What, 150 is all we owe? 
I'll pay for it. five hours. <laughs> so we only had a ten um, note, and this only type to change, and then the change machine only accepted five, so we had to get someone to like change two fives. Flix Plus wasn't doing it, this shop wasn't open, and so we just had to ask random people, and thankfully someone had it, so that was awesome. So now we can get to our bus and like leave them ten minutes. Ah! We can't find our bus. Check-in's a little bit weird around here. Welcome to Bratislava. Slovakia. Country number 28. 28. Woohoo. 28. Oh my goodness. This is actually called the UFO observation deck. Yes, that is what this is called. So I don't know if it's just because it's shaped like a UFO it's called that and it's observation deck. We have a two and a half hours to see the city until we're actually gonna hit up three countries today. We're moving at a good pace now. It kind of like hit me all of a sudden. It's like, yeah, it's starting to get cold and I want to get out of the cold weather, so let's hit up these northern cold countries like ASAP so we can get to warmer weather. Yeah, definitely very impressed so far with Slovakia. I mean, look at this awesome walkway along the river. All the flowers and we still got the autumn color. Love it! This is the music building and then look at these gorgeous trees. Building of the National Slavic Theater. This Slovakian city definitely has a couple of unique things, and one of these is this beautiful church. This is St. Catherine's, and it is bright blue. It reminds us actually of the same blue of St. Catherine's Palace in Russia. Um, but I have never seen this blue in a church before, so pretty unique. Okay, not sure what's going on, but I heard a band, and I totally heard America the Beautiful being played. So I'm gonna go see what's going on. I'm not sure what's going on, but a lot of people are wearing like poppies. Interesting thing number three here. This guy's name is Kumo. He's the man at work. This is Michael's gate, a historic gate for the city. There's two more things, but they're close to the bus station. So go ahead and find a spot you want to rest for a second and get some food. Smells really good. We're gonna get whatever this is. Awesome. Not sure what this is, but it looks good. We needed something fast to eat because our bus leaves in less than an hour. And so they're having like a street party. And so we got these noodles. And I asked him which was the best. And I was pointing to one. So he told me what the one I was pointing to. So he said it had bacon in it. So I'm like, sold. I'm getting that one. Mmm. <laughs> It smells like a baked potato with noodles, and they were hand making the noodles in there. This is so good. These noodles are like chewy, and at first I was like, I don't know if I want that, but it's so good. It's really good. Nice homemade noodles. It feels so nice on this cold day to have that. That is some loud 4:30 bells. The bus leaves at five. It's time to go find our bus. To the castle. We came to Slovakia. Um, absolutely loved those noodles. Oh my goodness, some of the best noodles I've had probably in my life. Sorry, Italy. Really good. And then to pair bacon with it, I mean, seriously, I can't get any better than that. To the bus stop, and those bells are still going. 4 
30 bells have been going for seven minutes, for 10 minutes now. Okay, so I left Google Translate. I just like typed out my question and then asked the lady um, that was working at the food place right here by the bus station. And she said that the reason the bells were ringing for 15 minutes was because someone had died. And remember we did see that funeral that was happening near St. Catharines. All right, so our bus is going to be 40 minutes late. They sent us an email. How nice is that? This is the first time you've taken Flex Bus where it's been late. But at least they kind of let you know a time frame. So it said traffic's been horrible and we'll get there as fast as we can. There they are, ready to go. I love a Flex Bus. I don't know how they did it, but we left 40 minutes late and only arrived 10 minutes later than we were supposed to. So, should we say it? Should we say it? No. Oh, gotta, gotta get to a cooler spot. Welcome to Hungary. Country number 28. 29. 29. We're at 29. Welcome to Budapest. Hungary. Country number 29. 29. Three in one day. Boom. That is the first time we have done that where we got to three new countries in one day. We had it previously, we, we started off the morning in Denmark, went to Sweden, and then ended up in Norway. So our bus made it here to Budapest um, a little bit before eight o'clock. And this morning, our bus got us into Vienna at a little bit before eight a.m. So in 12 hours, we went to three new countries crazy we got to explore two whole ones um, for budapest we'll explore it more tomorrow hello it's peter and lisa checking in from expedia hoppy okay. look they have little candies even for the shower we have to actually go down the steps outside and go to the shower it's no big deal guys, I get a shower tonight, so I'm just so ecstatic about that. Uh, make sure to subscribe below so you can see our day tomorrow in Budapest. What am I looking at? Blisters on my feet from all that walking. I don't even see anything. A pinky toe? No! Oh, that's disgusting, babe. No one wants to see that.